Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light. And I'm up here with an intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. I speak all as well with each and every one of you all. Today is November the 18th, 2022. How has my day been? It's been pretty good. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I spent a lot of the time earlier um, in the hospitals for hours, but it's nothing major. Your girlfriend, fine. I'll only go if I have to. I don't like hospitals, but I was stuck there. Um, but I'm all good now. And, you know, your girl got her little treat, y'all. Look at this. Mm. It's a pineapple smoothie with a little whipped cream on top. No. I'm usually not big on sweets and stuff. Like, that's not my thing. Okay? But I can tell you, that right there is for sure a thing for the moment. Mm -hmm. And pineapple is my favorite fruit. Mm. So... Yeah, I'm loving it. I really appreciate it. My baby brought that back for me. You know, so he went and got um, him and my daughter a smoothie. I'm like, I want one. Uh, give me the pineapple one. You know, me getting something that I really usually don't get. But I just wanted to try something different. You know what I'm saying? That's what Spirit said. It's all right for you to try new things. Okay? It's all right to try new things. <laughs> okay? We might see somebody else with something, doing something, and something, 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 and we might want to try it. And it's okay. We might want to do it, and it's okay. Even if you feel like it's not really for you, it's okay to try new things. Like, it's okay to, you know, think outside the box. It's okay to do something new. It's okay to, you know, just spontaneously do something, okay? Um, don't be so boxed in. Okay, explore, explore, go on an adventure. You know what I'm saying? Explore things that are different, <clears throat> unique, or that you usually wouldn't do. If it comes across your mind, you're like, I would like doing that. I wouldn't mind doing that, but that ain't for me. Do it. Spirit say, do it, girl. Do it, man. Do it, boy. Girl. Do it. Okay? You never know what it might take you. You never know what it might help you feel like. I mean... I wish I had the privilege to just go take a vacation or go on a trip or something. I've never been outside the country. Like, I would love to be able to travel. I would love to be able to go see something new. I would love it. I would love it. So, and if I had the finances too, I would go. I would be like, I'm about to go do something new. But if you can't do things, though, that grand and just, just like something as simple as getting a smoothie. This is out of my ordinary, my normal. This is not something I would do. I'm doing it, and I love it. So, is it something I'm going to continue to do? Mm -mm. But I do like it. I enjoyed it that I tried it. Okay? So, try and do new things, you know, and see where it takes you, you know? Um, <clears throat> explore the unknown, you know? It's all right to, you know, just, it's all right. Just know that it's okay if you feel like something is weird or, uh, you know, don't, thank you, Spirit. Don't worry about how other people are going to view you or look at you because you doing something different. I'm, I'm always doing something different. And this is the thing too, like a lot of people that do things differently and don't do things as the norm. A lot of people that do things the norm or don't do thing at, things as uniquely as they think you do, you do, they will try to seem like what you're doing is demonic or they'll try to downplay you or they'll try to make you seem like something other you you ain't. You know what I'm saying? So um, I try to play you or belittle you, you know what I'm saying? I try to get other people to denounce you and what you're doing. Like I, I've always had this issue in my life, you know what I'm saying? It's like... You know, except for instance, I'm just going to give me a scenario of my life. On YouTube. I've been on YouTube for four years. I know a lot of people watch me, view me, but nobody never subscribes. They will watch to mimic, to, 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 to just to stare because it's interesting, but they would, they stare and watch just to dis dislike. But at the same time, they like it, but they dislike it because it's not them doing it. And I don't get a lot of support. I don't. <clears throat> now, I can say I've gotten a little bit more support on TikTok than I have YouTube. But just, you know, when I came to the scene of YouTube, I was doing something different than most people. That was, you know, in the spiritual community. I brought something different. 
Wasn't nobody doing intuitive predictive art. For real, for real, nobody wasn't doing it. And here come on long little old me with something different. And a lot of people just shut down on me. And then a lot of people think because they got a big following or a big platform that, you know, you have to need them or, you know, they, they feel like they're above you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, whatever, whatever. But I'm going to tell you something about energy. Okay. Regardless of how long somebody may have been doing something, regardless of how many followers, subscribers, or whatever they may have, regardless of how much money they may be, on an energetically, spiritual level, you can have more than them. Soulfully, you can have more, embody more than these people. And they can see that energetically within you and not support you, ridicule you, try to hex you up, try to, I done had it all. And people feel uncomfortable when things different come along. They get uncomfortable. And they start trying to slick those shots at you and gaslight you and all kind of stuff. Because you're doing something different. And they irritated with it because... Now they downplay who they are. You should never do that. You should continue to do what you're doing and be great at what you're doing and continue to do it. Just because somebody's doing something different does not mean that you should hate on them or envy them or ridicule them or gaslight them. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to support them, fine. But don't be going hawking on people's pages, viewing them, and then at the same time, this is what I don't like. You know, I keep it real. I'm, 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 a real, I'm the, I'm the realest it get. So I couldn't. If people know I'm watching them, they gonna know it's me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make a comment. I'm gonna make a like. You gonna know it's me viewing you. I'm not gonna make no fake account to come and like your stuff, appreciate you, da 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 da. But like I say, some people got so many followers and think they're so much bigger than you that they see you beneath them. But then again, they're also intimidated because they see something in you that's not in them that could take you a long ways. And so they start gaslighting you or they, they start watching you and they start hexing you. It's just stupid stuff people do. And then I can't, I, what, what makes me, I'm going to tell you how I realize I, I know real people. How I appreciate real people. Okay. See, I always observe and I pay attention to energy. Real recognize real, okay? So if somebody sees you, but they got to, instead of truly acknowledging you, and they got to do things to let you know they see you, you know, like, I see you because I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I see you, I see you. Okay, you see me. All right, I know you see me. But then there's sideways talk. If I see you and I and I acknowledge you, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know I appreciate you and I'm gonna let you know it's you. And I'm gonna let you know that I'm very admired by you because I'm a realist like that. But a lot of people that do these things, they don't believe in themselves enough. And they don't want to say anything to you or say anything um talk for you because they don't want to give you that recognition. Until you get real big and, you know, surpass them, then it's a bit too late because you had an opportunity to, you know. But it's just like, uh, it, it's, it, that's the one, the, the envy and the jealousy. and the, I, I, I'm never in competition with nobody. I don't got time to become, I'm a 40-year-old grown woman in my own lane. I ain't got time to be competing with nobody. What I do, I do. I don't compare. I don't contrast. If I see somebody doing something that I was doing, well, I'm like, okay, I inspired them. And that's what I'm here to do. I can't get bent out of shape about it. I'm just like, okay, that's what I'm here to do, inspire others. But see, some people intentionally do something you're doing just to try to trigger you, but they, you can't trigger me because I'm, you're just letting me know you're inspired by me, and that's what I'm here to do. But at the same time, when we're inspired by people... Let's not be sideways. Just be real. Keep it 100. Because you will never like nothing of mine. 
You will never follow me. You don't like my videos, but yet at the same time, I know you. I know you observe it because you show it. But that's cool. Real recognize real. You know what I'm saying? I could be pushing some buttons right now, but hey, that's what I'm here to help you to see yourself as I see myself. I wouldn't express myself about nothing that I wouldn't do energetically within me towards others. You should treat others how you want to be treated, divinely. And I'm just saying because we got to come all of this conquer and divide. All of this, I'm better than you. I'm not better than nobody. I'm just me. I'm my own hero. The shirt again say, be your own hero. And that's good. That's true. We have to obtain that. Nothing outside of you should make you feel some type of way. Because everything within you should drive you every day to keep being your very best. And it's okay to be inspired by others. But don't let other people's energy drive you to be disgusted with them because you don't feel like you're doing what they're doing when you're just as great and unique in your own way. And it's fine. I just, I, me, for me, I can be, I get this all the time, especially from females. We can be so shysty and dark, like, and I don't get it because I will compliment on a chick on what she wear, her hair, or whatever. Oh, you know, I'm always that person. I believe in speaking to people, saying hi, admire, I'm just, just me. And it kills me, so I'm like, well, why other people got such a problem with that? Even when I went and got me some shoes for my birthday, I went into the shoe store, and... The chicks in there don't know me. Mind you, I'm I'm in there with my old busted up Air Force Ones on. Yeah, I'm about to buy a nice pair of shoes or whatever. Yeah, I'm with my fiance. But, you know, I ain't in there looking super fly like I got a lot of money or nothing like that. But I just, I guess it's just who I am. I always have had that problem. I don't have to say anything to anybody. And the bitches there gave me, and I'm calling what they are, gave me a hard time. Every shoe I asked for, she had like she didn't have. Then the shoe I finally say, okay, I bought. I didn't check it. You know, of course I knew I could wear them because she gave me one. She did. She gave me one to try on, and I said I can wear the shoes. So, okay, them the ones I want. So I'm getting, you know, this is the, this is the. I'm just giving you some scenarios of what I got to deal with, and that's been my whole fucking life because, you know, sour people. You know, people that don't love themselves, and that's the issue. Okay, people don't love themselves, don't believe in themselves enough. You know what I'm saying? All the shit I done had to go through, all the fuck shit to get thrown at me, and I still love who the fuck I am, despite how people have tried to do so much to make me feel unworthy. I am very worthy. People have tried to make me feel unworthy, tried to make me perceive that I'm unworthy, but I had to keep showing up for me to know that I am worthy. And you should do the same for you. But back to the story. So, got the shoes, went to the house. One of the shoes she was in the box had a big dick ass indentation. Mind you, I paid $150 for these goddamn shoes. Okay. I shouldn't be having no damn indentation and no damn shoes. These motherfucking shoes be fresh as the jits. I said, okay, so it's four pairs of shoes that didn't have my side. And then the one pair that they finally had, she got to give me the one with a, 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 a fucked up shoe in the box. And then had a, you know, this just nasty. And on top of the other chick that was rolling their eyes. Some of these bitches' eyes, are, you know, they, they should roll out the floor and bounce off the floor and go right up their ass and choke the fuck out their throat from there. Because it don't make no sense how ill mad at people is that they ain't got to know you. But that's how it is when people don't love themselves. See, people can see something in you that they don't see in themselves. And it's just as much of their light of something, but some people just don't have it in them though. Some demons are demons because what I do perceive and know is that a lot of these avatars ain't got nothing but damn low vibrational negative entities walking in and out of their asses using these vessels like motherfucking escalators. Timeline jumping them motherfuckers day and night. 
Because people don't know how to be their own fucking hero. Again. And so they want to be sour with other people. We need to we need to do better out here because it's sad. It's sad. It hurts my heart. Not that I give a fuck. If a motherfucker give a fuck about me or not at the end of the day, because I love me and that's all that matters because I'm my own hero. I don't need nobody to validate me. You understand? I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing regardless. Like I say, I ain't had nothing but like, now I got 50 subscribers on, 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 on YouTube and I've been doing it for four years. It ain't the follows. It ain't the subscribers. It ain't the likes. It ain't the dislikes. It ain't the comments. It ain't what keeps me going. I keep me going. I don't need that shit to drive me. But I am going to speak on the pettiness because as a collective, we must do better. Especially for us melanated women. I have got in the presence of melanated. And that's what the chick was. She was melanated. The other one, she was Hispanic or some shit. I'm even at the damn house. And then like I, say, I say this because going out in public where you can't even be with most people. And they, they don't even know you. And they got to give you a hard fucking time. It happens on, on social media. It happens everywhere you go. Depending on who you are. I'm in the mind of my own business. A bitch that works there as a security guard job. Sh sh this, I'm sitting there getting waited on, bitch. You on your job. You a security job. Got your little hair slicked back with your little long braids. You know, looking all cute. You know, I thought she, I thought I had was cute. You know how she, you know, had it fixed up. You know, I didn't say nothing. Because, you know, she working. I'm out of my own business. I just noticed her, you know. This chick kept walking by me. I guess until she finally had it. Because it. My fiance went and got me a something to drink. So as people walking back in the door behind me, I'm like, you know, seeing this in him. It so happened to be her again. I don't know how many times this chick don't walk by me. But she, I got why she wanted to walk by me so many times until she got my attention. The only reason she got my attention because I was making sure it wasn't my fiance coming back. Because I really wasn't stunting nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my own business on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Chilling, waiting on that long ass wait for them calling me. She got finally got my eye, honey, and she rolled her eyes so hard. I was like, again, the 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 pettiness. But once again, these people, a lot of people, don't love themselves. You know, it don't matter that I do need to get my teeth fixed. You know, I got I got some of my teeth is deteriorating in my mouth. It don't matter that I ain't got a lot of nothing. It don't matter. It don't matter. You can I done had some of the bummiest clothes on. I done been walking. I done been some more shit. You know, I probably can walk around with the dog shit walked on my fucking face. And, and people will still give me the same goddamn treatment. It ain't enough for you to be in the gutter. Because I don't have to deal with that. People literally want me with nothing. Family. So-called friends, foes, strangers, people that know me, don't know me, supposed to love me, don't love me. This has been my motherfucking life, and it still is today. But what I ain't going to do, what you can't do, beautiful dimes of light, is let these people who don't love themselves make you feel unworthy. You keep showing up and shining on their motherfucking asses. And hope you inspire people enough to start changing and be a greater version of themselves. And that's what a lot of people can't stand because they they know it's something within you that's, you know, pure. Them demons see it. Them entities see it. And that's what we have to realize. A lot of these people, they don't be human. And I get it. A lot of these people on social media be agents too. You know? But for those who, us who cause ourselves doing the work and uh, in alignment and, you know what I'm saying, you know, I heard one chick, I can't remember, what's her, oh, I, I hate, I don't know her name, uh, but I watch her too, her TikTok sometimes, and she was, she was giving a shout out to the Divine Feminine, and it was so powerful the other day, and that's what I'm talking about, people like her. Like, she was just saying, do do your thing, Divine Feminine. You know what I'm saying? I felt like in my soul that she was talking to me. She was talking to a lot of us that's doing the work. She was talking to herself, too. And I was like, that's, that's right. That's what we need more of. Uplifting one another. Supporting one another. Embracing one another. All that sour crap shit. 
judgment time for, is here for those times. And the very energy that we direct towards other people is going to become ours. And a, and a lot of people, you know, we hurt. We wear these masks. We act like we these such such and type of people until we're triggered. My fiance always say, you know how you know if a person really done changed or not? You know, take something from them. Take their money from them. Take their follows from them. Take their platform from them. Take, take, they, take things from them that they love. And if they revert back to their uh, old ways, they never change in the first place. See, I done passed a lot of those tests. I done had everything took from me. And continue to go through things that have had time. And recently, not long, came out of homelessness. And I didn't revert back. Lost my mother. I didn't go back to drinking and drugging and alcohol and being there. I still kept expanding and growing. So what most of us going to do when the pressure get real? Huh? Are you wearing a mask or is it who you really are? Because a lot of people that's wearing a mask are the ones that is bearded when somebody else that's not wearing one is really showing up. Let that truly inspire you. Don't be bitter about it. And I'm going to speak on these things because I can. Like it, love it, keep it moving. I do this for me. Hoping to inspire you as I also inspire myself and be my own fucking hero. Now you do the same. But as we enlighten ourselves, I did a painting a long time ago. In 2018, about all this energy coming in and all this stuff is going to happen. Because sooner or later, soul family is going to have to the, the, the universe. The planet is going to have to come together if we're going to thrive. Not survive, thrive. Okay. Beautiful diamonds of light. Let's do what we do. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we got going on. on, on. Mm. Let's see what we got going on, beautiful diamonds of light. Beautiful energy for Earl Cadet. What is the store for the beautiful diamonds of light and collection? What do we intend to the energetically need to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? Thank you for the value and clarity for November 18, 2022. Yep, 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 yep. We have to do better as a collective. <clears throat> Stop trying to deprive yourself and deprive other people because you deprive yourself. It's not going to end up doing nothing but keep you more depressed and in anxiety and, you know, as I say that. <laughs> and I didn't see this before I said it. Anxiety and heartbroken. You know, and it's going to block your, your blessings. It's going to block your abundance. It's going to block your evolution being in that way. Okay? Mine. It is. Body. Mm. <clears throat> I know I had a lot to say, but, I, you know, I speak on what I'm got to speak on. A lot of it is from what life experiences, channel messages, you know. I don't hold back how, how Source Creator and, and, and use me, how my ancestors use me. Okay, I don't hold it back. Spirit. It's a lot though. I don't hold it back. A lot of people don't like it about me that I speak my mind. You know. That's because I don't take no shit either. Now, give me a second. I got to burn some more incense. There was one in there burning, but I was meditating and then it ran out. So, I want to make sure I got these energies. All right. See, look, it, it's still in there. For some reason, things I'll be wanting, it could just be a default in one, too. Yeah. Maybe I just leave the box open because sometimes all the oil from the incense 
by getting on the incense in the box. So I'm just gonna leave it open. <laughs> Hope it don't choke me the fuck up. <laughs> Maybe it choke anything that need to be out. out. Beautiful goddess power work today. What is the store for the beautiful diamonds I like to collect? What do we intuit to the energetic we need to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? We thank you for divine truth and clarity for November 18th, 2022. I'm getting clueless. Clueless. A lot of people are clueless on... Um, How to perceive <clears throat> the move, the necessary moves that they need to perceive. This shit, I'm gonna get my cards with I'm move it. On moving forward with their journey. <clears throat> but that's when you have to do the energy work and go within. Body. I don't know the word caption. Caption is coming through. Okay. Um highlighting something. Um so These times coming up is, is, is going to be the highlights of your life. Like, it's going to be, um, thank you, Spirit. Like, the things that you are, are going to need to work on, it's going to be loud. It's not going to, you're going to know it because it's going to show up. It's going to be in caption. It's going to be highlighted. It's going to be big. It's going to be bold. It's going to keep showing up to let you know these are the things that source your ancestor spirit guides are telling you you need to work on within yourself. And you have to take heed. Okay? So things are still going to start coming to you in caption. Highlight it. Boldness. It's going to be loud. You're going to know this is what you need to do. You're not going to have to contemplate or perceive or wonder why. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it not? Well, you know. It's going to. You're going to know it's so. Okay? So. When it come up bold and in caption and highlight it. It's for you, especially if it comes up over and over again in different ways. The spirit's talking to you, the source talking to you, there's your ancestors talking to you, it's your higher self talking to you, okay? Beautiful star man tarot deck. What is in store for the beautiful diamonds of light, the collective? What do we intuitively and energetically need to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? For the mind, truth, and clarity, November 18th, 22. Y'all, these cards right here. I love them though. They thick, they long. I, I keep flexing them to get them to bend. I can get them to bend a little bit more today. Mm -hmm. Put that muscle out. You see how I'm at the muscle? I'm having to now I'm muscle up on these motherfuckers. <laughs> Y'all didn't make me think about when I was when I was uh, in high school and stuff. Y'all used to have really, I used to be cut up. I used to cut hold my own arms down. My arms are so big. I used to be cut up. I had muscles. I ain't really got them no more. <laughs> I ain't got them no more. Well, when I when I hurt my back, I really stopped working out. I'd be so afraid to do any, you know, serious work because I'd be scared I'm gonna trigger it again. I'd be having to take it easy. I've been through too much with my back already. <clears throat> but it is way ways you can work out still. I'll be trying here and there, but gotta get out of that fear of, you know, pain, you know? So, <clears throat> spirit. So I turned over. You turned over here. Okay. Make sure that's it. Yeah, I do want to get back into it, like working out, and you know what I'm saying. I don't want to be as bulky as I was in in, in, in high school, cause I was a I was a beast. 
walk around like this, can you hold my hand, arms down and shit, walk around like I'm about to beat somebody's ass every day. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that used to be me. <laughs> people used to be intimidated by me by that too. You know what I'm saying? They used to. Mm -hmm. A lot of people used to like, I, they used to like, I thought you were mean. Like, I didn't want to say nothing to you, but you're actually really nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, I'm not mean until you fuck me. I'm not, I'm not mean. To, I'm not mean to no one. But I don't take no shit either. Mine. I'm the nicest, kindest, most loving, funniest person you can ever meet. Like, nobody ever had to be intimidated by me. You know? I just also let people know I didn't take no shit. <clears throat> that, you know, I ain't got that deceit no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to fight physically no more. My energy speaks for itself. And it really already always have. <clears throat> you know, your energy will speak for itself. You don't have to show both your energy, really. I mean, it'll show. As a thing, without. And they ain't just financially. They, you know, people's energy speak for them. It's beyond that. <clears throat> it's beyond that. So... Yeah, just one turned over. Okay, just one turned over. I'm gonna take it. Beautiful Lamarinette. What is the store for the beautiful diamond light that collected? What do I expect for the energy that you need to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? We thank you for the long truth and clarity for November 18, 2022. These I just let fall out the day. <clears throat> Inspiration. All right, two came out. Run with it. All right, well, we got some more. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know. I want to speak to some. Let's keep going. Beautiful ruin tarot deck. What is this stuff for the beautiful diamonds like to collect? What do you mean? Twitch of the energy, the emotions, the mind, body, soul, the spirit. I'm thinking for divine truth and clarity. <clears throat> but November 19, 2022. <clears throat> We're saying the collective hasn't seen nothing yet. <clears throat> the things to come are going to be profound. Okay, Body. So. That's good. Beautiful spirit of animals. Pray for that. What do you want for the beautiful that I would like to collect? What do we intend to inject? We need to know from the mind, body, soul, the spirit. We need to the clarity from November 18, 2022. We're almost there, y'all. Y'all know your girl. Get it in. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. Mine. Y'all know what I don't have, though? Damn, my, damn, I choked my glasses because I had them earlier at the house for you. Body. Oh, my nose starting to itch. Well, it's been itching, but it's picking up for some reason. So, it's confirmation. And it's scary. They're like, yo, we about to say some things, some more things. Hmm. Cultivate that. All right, last deck, y'all. Beautiful cup of fortune teller deck. What is the store for the beautiful diamonds I like to collect? What do we do to the energy that we need to know for the mind, body, and soul, and spirit? Thank you for the mind, truth, and clarity for November 8th, 2022. One more time. Oh, y'all, things about to get hot because I, I don't know why I saw it get real hot. Things about to get heated up, y'all. Things about to get really heat, heated, spirit saying. <clears throat> and I also say, if you can't stand the heat, get the fuck out the kitchen. Mine. Sometimes we walk in. Sometimes we walk right into fire. We can see the fire there. We walk right into it, and then we get mad because we get burnt. You know. You know. It's like sometimes you know. Even though, even the things I'm addressing and speaking on, a lot of people might not like it. Feel uncomfortable about it. Okay. <clears throat> but. 
For some, it might be fire. So for others, it might be confirmation. For others, it might be inspiration. For others, you know what I'm saying? They, they might feel like I don't open up an ass of fire for myself. But <clears throat> flames don't do nothing but purify. You know what I'm saying? But it's about to get heated, which we already discovered that yesterday. It's too hot. Too hot, baby. All right, y'all. Let me get my glasses. <clears throat> Ooh, it's hot out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, nah. I don't want to put on them damn glasses while he had a headache. I, take them off. I like the way they look, but I don't like the way they... Ooh, ain't worth it. <clears throat> Some stuff just ain't worth it. Even though it might look good. Taste good, smell good. Sometimes it ain't worth it, okay? All right, let's go. For the mind, we have the world in reverse. We have Mama Killer, the moon in reverse. We got Parvati, par, par devotion in reverse. <clears throat> we got the seven of wands up right here. We got the eight of wands in reverse. We got the two of swords in reverse. We got the two of pentacles in reverse. Okay, we got throat portal, speak your truth, courage, suppression here. We got adventure, innocence, play, discovery here. We got hormonal resolution, negative anger, transmutation here. We got third eye portal, vision, clairvoyance, clarity, and confusion here. We got transformation, metamorphosis, synchronicity, and unexpected here. And we got liberation. Liberation has been standing up, uh, stirring up a lot lately. Power, fulfillment, and self attainment here. All right. Mm -hmm. Who's starting that? So, Spirit is saying that a lot of you or some of you will have to come out of this energy with this two of swords here. Um, you know, not knowing which way to go. Of, of, of tearing yourself apart. Tearing yourself apart. Tearing it. You know, because it's like, choose a side. A lot of people are, okay, thank you. A lot of people can't, like, it's like they want to do right. They know is they know doing right is the just thing to do. They know doing right will bring them, they know now is the time for them to start doing right because uh them not is perceiving to bring them a lot of karma, a lot of bad luck, a lot of things are not going in their favor. So it's like, but a lot of people are so accustomed to being a certain type of way that they, they, they torn between the two. Like, and a lot of people will not want to put in this work. Okay. A lot of people are not want to put in the work to drive towards a better version of themselves because it's hard. It's hard because of the emotional turmoil, the, the, the distraught. It's, 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 it can be burdensome to have to go into that healing journey to perceive who you are within. You can have a lot of emotional upheaves, a lot of tower moments, okay? The shadow work is very real. But a lot of people are going to start doing the work. I'm also or guided to do the work to come out of this energy, all right? Because it, all it's going to do is keep causing you to be unbalanced. It's going to keep causing you to be unbalanced. And we're having to perceive that warring with ourselves or not causing us to do anything but war with others. And then it's going to cause you and collective as a whole an even greater setback as what the forces want to become and be. We have to pertain, pertain or start being an example of being greater and better than that. This unbalanced energy is going to make it harder for you to get out of this two of swords energy, which we're guided to do. The seven of swans here. I mean, it's the seven of swans. Hmm. The seven of wands here. 
A lot of times you feel like you're in this battle all alone. It's like a lot of things seem unjust. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of things seem unfair. It's like you I always seem like you um in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to make your way out. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of things that you try to put together. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's like it was broken. Um a lot of magic is perceived from within is pretending to be broken. You know what I'm saying? But it's also a lot of stuff that done been directed towards you. And it's like it's been causing you so much burdens. It's like everything is like attack after attack after attack after attack. And it's causing you to not want to move forward. Like I say, a lot of people are having a hard time to wanting to do right because uh, it's harder than they thought it was going to be. And it's easier to stay in that low vibrational state because it's what you're accustomed to. It's easier. It's more easier to escape. It's more easier to uh, suppress. It's more easy to stay down so you can have excuses okay why you don't want to do better for yourself and we have to we have to keep putting up that fight it doesn't seem fair you do feel like you all alone but i can guarantee you and perceive that you can do it with the eight of wands here you don't want to keep completing these you know reliving these rebirthing reiterating and regenerating these same old cycles okay um it's just gonna keep you in a downward spiral it's gonna keep you in a downward spiral so with the eight of wands is here it's like you you're, you're needed to be more genuine you need to find more within yourself go within and create a spot within you that's gonna drive you to regenerate not regenerate but generate something new from within a divine essence of yourself. So you can start spiraling up and not reliving the same things and making you feel unworthy in this world. A lot of people feel like the whole world is against them. Like I say, people having a hard time choosing a side. It's so easy, much easier to stay consumed in what you're accustomed to. But the energies are no longer supporting that. A lot of things are ushered in to force us to change or the repercussions are going to be very severe. The energetic get back is going to be very severe. And a lot of people are perceiving that and seeing it. But like I say, a lot of people are so accustomed to being a certain way and they don't want to put in the work to be able to make that shift and it's going to end up hurting you in the long run if you don't start embodying the better version of yourself that is within you screaming like i said it's going to be things in caption and highlighted to let you know ain't wrong way and this is the way to go and this is what you need to be doing and so you can become your own hero as i say a lot of people don't want to be devoted they don't want to be devoted into putting in this energy work. It's easier, it's easier to be self selfish. It's easier to hate. Because now you don't have to be approved to yourself and anybody else that you are worthy. Because you don't feel that way when you very much are very worthy. It's just circumstances, places, and things, and people that have made you feel this way. And because of that, you have became a certain individual or a certain entity that is not driven to put in the devotion to do the work to gain the world. So now your world do feel upside down. We can't continue to be in this undevoted energy of not being able to understand who we are from a magical point of view. We can no longer use this moon magic to get ahead. We are in solar energy now. We are in enlightenment energy. Everything has to come from the soul. From the soul. Embodying that. Once, yes, we could pull off the moon and manipulate and alter things to, you know, temporarily make things come for us but like i say we're in the time now where those things are catching up with us they're not standing ground they're not firm
We just got to come out of this energy and become more liberated on who we are. Liberate yourself. Revive yourself. It's okay to try new things so you can go through this major transformation. You're guided to do this work so you can transform into your divine enlightenment self and catch these energies that's going to embrace you to have more in your life than you can ever perceive. And that's to be divinely in your awareness and highest consciousness and be able to manifest just out of thin air. To be able to unlock things within you that are magical. To what things that just come easily. But it'll be because your heart frequencies is right and you did the work and you're liberated and now you are guided to go through the transformation. A lot of people have been in a lot of confusion, like I said, on which way to go. But you're getting, you're going to get more and more clarity. Tap into your third eye as you do the energy work. Some people's third eyes are still blocked. That's why you're confused. Work on breathing techniques. Okay, sound frequencies. Be careful. Watch the things you eat and drink more water. First of all, to be honest, in order to really tap into this third eye, you have to get your heart frequency right a little bit. Some of some come natural to people. They just blown and born with it. But those who was born and blown with it, uh, blown and born with it, who are not in their high heart anymore, spirit is cutting off these abilities and their access to them. Because they're only going to use this to be able to look into things to cause mischief and, and destruction. And we can no longer do that, see? Only those who are enlightened and raising their frequencies and vibrations are going to have this ability to go within to be able to not be in confusion. Those who choose not to heal their hearts will stay in confusion. And they will be in the land of the waste. You don't want to be that. I guarantee you. It's going to pay off in the long run, short and long run, for you to start doing this work to heal, to evolve and elevate. Get out of that hate, that envy. Stop feeling so self-reluctant. There's more to you than just being angry all the time and negative. You have to learn to transmute that energies or those energies it's only gonna keep you stuck like i said earlier when the bit of getting the video something you gotta think outside the box it's all right to try new things go on an adventure do something new do something spontaneous do something you've never done before that you might have thought about doing and nah that ain't for me i don't want to do that just try it not saying it gotta become your thing just try it try different things play Go within and, and unlock some things within your inner child. A lot of you need to start speaking up more. You're, you're, you're suppressed. You let people dumb you down. And that's why a lot of people are hurting too, okay? Because they can't release. They can't speak. You hold all that stuff in. And it just chokes you the fuck up. And it chokes your heart up. And then you just... <laughs> speak truth, though. Because the more people that keep speaking lies, they will lose the sound of their voice. They won't be heard. You will be looked over. I'm getting it. You literally can one day not talk at all because you're not using your voice righteously. And God is going to silence those who are not speaking truth. You got to have courage within yourself. You got to build courage to be driven to start getting in alignment for the betterment of your life. It's your, it's your journey. It's your decision at the end of the day. But know that read the energy. See what's going on around you. These are not the times to be... 
not figuring out who you are in. It's showing on a mad, on a mad macro scale. If you know anything about paying attention to the solar energy, the sun, it's a lot of information out there about this thing. You saw, if you pay attention to the cosmos, you will know that this is bigger than just this planet. This is a galactic universal thing. That's going through energetic shifts that people are having to get in alignment with or else. Let's go here. We have Uraz, bull, strength, tenacity, courage, untamed potential, freedom. You have to build the courage. You have to have the strength to want to change. A lot of you have untamed potential that you can tap into, but you have to first heal and do the energy work, okay? Only way we're going to gain true freedom is to gain freedom in here and in here. It's nothing, the freedom, the freedom that you're looking for is not outside of you. It's within you, your consciousness and your heart. Once you free yourself inwardly by loving yourself and embracing who you are divinely, you will automatically know that you're free despite what the fuck is going on around you because you will feel enlightened here. In here, you'll feel it. You'll know that you're just free and you're divine and everything that you're working for, it's going to come to you. It's going to magnetize its way to you because you'll be a divine magnet to produce these things into your awareness, into your, 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 your journey, into your life. No matter what everything else look like for you, because you chose to go within the hill and enlighten yourself, you will be free. It's an inner thing. Okay? Assertive, cougar. In silence, you will find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know what to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Come on, people. Lift yourself up. You don't have to stay down. I'm a, I'm a living witness. It's a choice, okay? You have to be more assertive. More assertive. Self-reliance here. Snow Leopard. I'm going to read these cards, these, these, these cards today. I'm going to read them to you because I'm guided to. This is the message for the collective, all right? You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans, okay? Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. We don't have to always showboat our growth. And everybody not going to see it or don't need to see it, perceive you anyway. A lot of people... Even if we show it or we tell people that we've changed, you know, a lot of people don't want to believe it because they hadn't changed. So it's hard to, it's hard for people to believe that you've changed if they're not willing to change. So you do your thing, everything you do in silence. Don't worry about if they feel like you've changed a lot. As long as you know you've changed and grown, that's all that matters. Because it's going to people keep on reminding you or try to bring you and lower your vibrations or cause you to not be worthy or feel worthy of your change and try to trigger you to go back or do something that you used to do. But when you got a hold of yourself, you catch yourself and you show them over and over again. Not them. Show yourself that I have changed. You know what thing you have changed. So change in silence. It don't matter what they think. Because a lot of people try to tell you you ain't changed when you know you have. Don't let them type of people get in your head. You know the work you do. Continue to do the work. Continue to heal. You can heal in silence. It's okay. Use your wisdom. We got the moose here. Let your head and mouth... Let your head and mind reach to the stars. Yet keep, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. Tap into your inner knowing. Tap into your inner knowing. It's all here. It's here. Use your wisdom. Fire, tiger, we are purifying in this time. I said that we're going into the Sagittarian energy. I said it yesterday in the video that this energy coming in as we go into this winter, winter solstice is really going to purify us to make a major shift to jump. A lot of our consciousness is going to be even more activated. Our, a lot of us are getting activations as, we, as I speak. 
but we're starting to get purified and insinuated with things that needs the pressure is getting real i'm i'm bringing a for, force of purification through me today as source of spirit is using me to speak to you to ignite you to make that forceful leap you need to make to be a better version of yourself okay I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Yes, they do. You are. You can. Do it. Magic. The magic lies within you, dragonfly. I embrace my transformation. I told you transformation is taking place, right? Transformation is taking place. It's very important in this time to get an alignment. Because transformation is taking place in... Always, we're always transforming daily. But it's some enlightenment transformation transformations taking place. It's some spiraling up and it's some spiraling down. Which which transformation are you willing to go into? Huh? Some people are transforming up out of here because they choose not to evolve and shift their frequencies to align with the frequencies of this planet, better yet, this galaxy, better yet, this universe. The solar system. So, magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. You have to let go of the past. You have to let go of the things that consume you. People, places, and things. Let it go. That's the only way you're going to be able to move forward because people going to keep dragging you down. Those things you usually do going to keep dragging you down and holding you back. You are magical. Use your power. Use your power. Divinely. Friend, dog. Some of these friends you're going to have to let go that don't mean you any good. Okay? Find a friend within yourself. If you want a friend, get you a damn dog. <laughs> but if you do have a really good friend, you hold on to that friend. If you got a good family member, you hold on to each other. If if people energy and soul energies and frequencies match, you hold on to each other. Because it's rare. It's rare. Divine essence is rare out here. It's really rare. It's like a, a diamond in the rough, literally. It's hard to find. So when you find it, you better hold on to it. Because it's going to be hard to come off across it again. But as more people heal, you will see more of these diamonds come into light. Okay? Let's go over here to the body, y'all. I've been over there for a minute because this is a lot that's happened to come out today. I'm just going to be alone. You know what I'm saying? You got me. Okay, appreciation here. Go to romance in reverse. Community. Okay. Upright. We got the goddess of the moon. Another moon card in reverse. This could be a whole nother situation, but we just could be keep going. You know, whatever comes through, comes through. You know what I'm saying? We got the green tarot, salvation here. We got Sophia, divine wisdom here. We got Hestia, home here. Okay. We got the four of cups. Upright, and we got temperance in reverse. Okay, we got breakthrough, leap of faith, freedom, new beginnings. We got wisdom, psychic intuition, and truth. We got destiny, divine purpose, passion, and service. It's a lot of people in this world that's not going to appreciate you. It's a lot of people. I said it in the beginning of the video about people not appreciating who you are. People in communities not appreciating who you are. Not appreciating you, loving you, not embracing you. If anything, um, they can't see the light in themselves. And a lot of people are willing to try to do uh, moon magic, which is not working anymore. So you won't feel worthy of your own appreciation for yourself. Okay? A lot of people don't want to love you because they don't love themselves. They don't want to support you because they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't love themselves. They don't believe in themselves. Okay, and a lot of times it could be the people that's closest to you from home, your family, your friends. Those are the ones that let you down the most. Those are the ones who are hurting you the most. They don't want you to have any salvation. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you build. They don't want to see you thrive because, like I say, in the first column, it's a lot of people that's hurt out here that needs to do this work. To the divine ones, to the diamonds of light. We, this is our energy that we have to deal with. Those who are enlightened, those who are healing and continue to heal, who have came to a certain awareness, have came to a certain frequency of energetic lifting in their life. 
We have to deal with all of these people not appreciating us, not loving us, not supporting us, not embracing us. But that's why we're strong enough and build our, our well-being energy enough to know that we don't need all that. Because we got source. We got uh, our ancestors. We got, we, got, we got spiritual and energetic support. And the source is going to give you all you need when you don't even need these people to do this stuff with you. You'll always be provided because source creator going to always provide for you. Your ancestors are going to always provide for you. You don't need these people to validate who you are because they will make you feel like you don't, you're not worthy. Trust in yourself. Be your own hero. Because like I say, the people's closest to you don't want you to have salvation. They can't stand that you have divine wisdom. They want to use all the moon magic and all the bull crap they can to make you feel unworthy. To shut, to shut the doors to love, the doors to romance, the doors to opportunities to you. A lot of them trying to do stuff just to stop your romance. They can see you happy with somebody and be like, you know, they feel like that's a part of you. You and that romance, if you just lost that, then they will, they will, they will break the camel's back. But little do they know you already lost, lost enough. There's nothing they can do to pull your strings. You've already won. Okay. A lot of people want to keep trying to make you feel, keep you in this four of cups, energy, beautiful diamonds and light because they are worthy. Like doing magic. You see this witch's hat here? Want to call upon stuff? Want to break your heart? Want to just keep inflicting you with all this dark energy? They want to cause you to be on black balance. But this is a lot of the people. This is, this is the, this is the first column. Like this is a, the group of the collective that's in this energy. They, and that's why these community of people, these people from home, these people that's close to you, these people on these social media platforms, that's why they do the things they do. That's why they act the way they act. That's why they perceive things. They See, they're going to always try to trigger you. They're going to always try to belittle you. They're going to always try to bring you down. They're going to not support you. They're going to gas like you. They're going to do all kinds of stuff because this is really their energy. They're really in this energy, and they're getting a lot of get back from doing all this magic to try to keep you unbalanced. Now they're, they're, now they're unbalanced. They've always been unbalanced because they don't want to put in this work to heal. You, are, you beautiful diamond of light, is going to have a lot of breakthroughs and new beginnings. Like I say, to be free, you got to go within and free yourself by healing yourself and elevating yourself and loving yourself. Using your wisdom. A lot of you are psychic and, intu and, and very intuitive. And you already done had, a lot of you already done had your freedom, your energetic breakthrough. Because it's your destiny to do this. It's a lot of people destiny to go and do this healing work. And like I say, the energy is coming in to enforce those who need to do it, who ain't quite not knowing which direction to go. Oh, if it's your destiny, you will. But I said yesterday, a lot of earth angels, a lot of people that's divine is supposed to make that jump. They don't make it either. My mother was one of them. That's why I say it's hard to choose. It's hard to choose which way to go. It's hard to choose the side. The world in reverse is, is the most majority of people are in this energy. And that's why they want to make it harder for the people that are thriving to be better, who are in the energy to be do do righteous things and be right and have you know untamed un, untamed potential and already living in that energy. It it irritates them and it disgusts them because they can't see their self receiving to do it. Even they can have like I said, they can have the most followers, they can have more money than you, they can have da 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 da, and yet. They are still irritated with you because it's, they hadn't healed their heart. It's all masks. It's all illusions. And a lot of people, it's hard for them to decide which way to go. But this energy is going to come in for those who are destined to pull their self forward. They will if they're willing to put in the work. You have to want to put in this work. But for those who are willing to, it's a lot of breakthroughs and new things coming to you. New occupations. Okay. New occupations, things that you're interested in. We got Lugas, Lagoos here, water, intuitions, emotions, flow, renewal, dreams, hopes, and fears. A lot of people are dealing with hopes and fears because of the economy, because of what's going on in the outside of the world. A lot of people are focusing on the external too much. As you work on the internal, like I say, that's what the freedom comes at. Once you perceive who you are internally on the soul level, you don't 
worry like that. You allow the energies to flow and source in your ancestors and guides to bring in what they need to bring in in the time that it needs to be brought in. And you're very patient. And with patience, the things will come. Okay? But you have to be doing the healing work while you're, while you're in the waiting season. Your dreams will come true. As long as you're doing the work, new occupations are in store for you, new opportunities. We have the main male here. Maybe somebody's about to go on a journey. Okay. Um, have a, something about a child and thoughts and journey. So, okay, so some of you have a new occupation that you're, you're something, some type of new opportunity is about to present itself where you're going to travel. It's something that you've been working on, something that you've been thinking on, something you've been putting your energy into. Whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been creating, whatever you've been building, it's this main male that's interested in that, that's thinking about, that's thinking about it. Um, You could have a child. Maybe this is an occupation that you've been interested in to your, since your childhood. Maybe some of you have tapped tap, tap into your inner child and brought out your untamed potential, and now other people see you for who you are, so they want to bring in this energy to help usher in this new opportunity for you because they see your craft, they see what you're doing, they're very intrigued by it, Spirit is saying. So, they want to bring you um, a reward, prosperity. One June, one June here, joy, pleasure, comfort, harmony, prosperity, reward, success. Yes, this opportunity, this new occupation, this 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 um this main male, this interest that's willing to travel to you, or you're traveling to for your occupation, um, is bringing you success. Something's in store for whoever this is, whoever been doing the work, despite. People being jealous of you, despite people being sending the tax to you, despite the support you haven't been having for, from people, there is somebody. All it takes is one person that's really, really big or that got a lot of pull that can be admired by you and it can change your life forever. That's all it takes. Because you believe in yourself, source creator is going to bring that energy that respects and admire and appreciate who you are and going to usher in that person or those people or that community for you so you can gain the success that is meant for you, okay? Um, the success, one you? You got canines here towards vision. You are, you're a visionary. Be inspirational, beautiful diamond of light. Keep doing your energy work because it is a lot of people that's going to try to drag you down and, and make you feel like you're not doing enough or make you feel like what you're doing is you know, nobody's, you know, they're going to make you feel like what you're doing is, is shit because they're not doing it. And people don't want to see you supersede them or outgrow them or do something more than what they are. So they're going to not support you, gas like you, put you down, da 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 da, da. But you don't let that stop you because you're your own hero. Remember that. And all I say, Spirit says it's going to take one, pe one person to be admired by your greatness and... Success overnight. Success overnight, Spirit saying, whoever this is for. Because you deserved it. You deserve it. You definitely deserve it. We have prosperity. I can't. It's prosperity in store for you, beautiful diamond of light. You've been putting in that work. I know you feel unworthy. I know you feel unappreciated. It been seeming like you ain't been getting nowhere. It's like you've been at a standstill, but not for God, not for source. Source is giving you this prosperity. Despite what other people not believing in you, supporting you, driving you, bringing you down, ridiculing you, despite it all, you are going to gain prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace your change. Okay? Opportunities are close at hand. They are close. I told you it is close. It's knocking at the door. Okay? Um, hop into the new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune awaits you. It's awaiting you. It is coming. It says it. Reward, prosperity. You got prosperity twice here. I know people are not making you feel worthy. I know you haven't been getting it. I know it's been a drag over drag, but you kept doing the work. God, so I say you kept going with nobody else, with, no matter how nobody 
didn't perceive you to be. You believed in you. You are your own hero. So because you kept going and you kept changing and you kept growing and you kept expanding and you kept doing all these wonderful things unto source for your evolution, that's why you're gaining this prosperity. This is source God, your ancestors giving you with this. Okay? Lizard, regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. You have survived so much. No matter what happens, you can adapt. You done lost it all. You done lost it all over and over and over again. And every time you fall down, you get up. We fall down, we get up. We fall down, we get up. Okay? That, that You've done it over and over again. And because of that, you embrace your transformations. You embrace everything that you have overcome. You let that pressure only create the beautiful diamond of life. Put on a new cloak. You are the master of regeneration. It's like, I don't care. You done did stuff. You're like, okay, they did this. They took that. They stole this. They, they stopped me from doing that. But source kept giving you new things. Even when people try to stop you, copy what you do, uh, steal from you. Source keep giving you new things to build and create because you are divine. It's infinite things that's going to be given to you. So when, even when people think they're trying to stop you from doing one thing, two things, you always adapt and you getting something else to do. They can't stop you. You unstoppable. Okay? Keep 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 going, beautiful diamond light. All right? Because you know why? I can't make this up. Whoever this is, who done the work, who, 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 who chose not to be undecisive, because a lot of these undecisive people over here in this first column want you to feel like them. But I was guided to tell them they can be just as in the energy, oh, my nose itch, as you are. Because here in the soul, abundance is here, blossoming abundance. You got a contract coming in. You got adjacent possibilities coming in. Baby, the sun is about to shine on me. The sun is about to shine on you. They could not stop your transformation, no matter how much they didn't show you love and support. Baby, they could not stop it. The show must go on with or without them, okay? You got um romantic love here. So somebody try to do magic too, like I say, on your romance over here, right? They did. But it didn't it didn't matter because they couldn't stop that transformation from happening. And you your soulmate, your partner, whatever, it's gonna you got romantic love here with the soulmate, with the partner, right? It's gonna move forward. Your soul, your, your your divine connection will elevate, will evolve. You will grow everything that you want. Everything. Beautiful diamond line. Whoever it is for, everything that you want, you're going to get because you put in the work to earn it. You show strength and empowerment through it all. You've already gained your emotional freedom. What I say, you went in, you went in, and you know that freedom only comes from what? Within. That's the true freedom. And you've been ascending and getting these light codes. You're about to relocate. Prepare. Prepare because you're about to go on a trip. You're about to go on a trip. You're about to, yeah. You're about to move forward on something. You're about to go, uh, 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 yeah, partnership here too. This is to do a business. This is to do a business. Like I say, baby, it's some type of contract. I told you, you got prosperity here. You got a success. You got blossom of abundance. Because you chose the right path to go on, you chose the right path. You chose to be righteous. You chose the right path, baby. And because of that, you got you got all these You got listen, listen. You got adjacent possibilities. Adjacent. I'm talking about I'm so I wanna cry because it's like you about to finally have your big breakthrough and you fucking deserve it we got hagalas here hell nature around being tested overcoming obstacles oh baby you've been tested over and over again and like i say you fell down you gave got up you fell down you got up 
They wanted you to give up, but you didn't. You overcame every obstacle that a mofo threw in your way. You overcame it, okay? You, every test, you, you've been being tested over and over again by Source 2, okay? Source allowed these obstacles to come at you from these people so they can learn their lessons or either dig a hole, dig a hole for themselves and for you to be tested and you've overcame your tests. You've overcame those, those obstacles. They're going to get wrapped. You're going to get success. It's going to hell on these people. All these people and this energy that's been trying to stop you and trying to make it hard for you to pull in what decision you you already know you wanted to go in the right way. But there's a lot of people trying to pull you down and, and break you in every way. And those people will be getting wrapped. Doing, whoever been doing magic, whoever been ridiculing you, whoever didn't support you, whoever didn't, whoever tried to set you back, whoever gaslighted like you, whoever stole from you, whoever did you wrong, period. Whoever made you feel unworthy, those people will be getting wrapped. They will. They'll be in despair here. Mm hmm. They're going to be in despair. For causing you this hurt, this pain, this whatever, whoever was trying to stop you from people from home, family, whoever it was, like I say, a community of people got home here. People closest to you, the people closest to you did the most of dragging you down and holding you back. The ones you love the most. They're going to get wrapped. They're going to be in despair when they see you get all this. Because they can't have a seat at the fucking table. Why you eating your grape of huh? sipping on your tea in London or wherever you may be going because you traveling, baby. <laughs> London came up, but you traveling, okay? Dear love, be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. What did I say, baby? Your self-worth, you have been worthy. Despite everybody else been making you feel unworthy, you you knew who you were. And you stood firm and fast in it and you said, fuck what a hater say. Fuck them. And you kept going. You kept going. They threw all kind of shit in your way. They did not want you to become this great, but they didn't realize that you was already, you was destined to be great, baby. They just help you unlock your untamed fucking potential. Thank you. That's what you tell them. Thank you. <laughs> You're about to receive some type of message. Uh, or whoever these people are that's been hurting you, uh, that's been wrapped, they're going to be seeing, seeing this type of message. But I'm getting this is a message of, uh, a message for you because it's not a message of concern. It's some type of message that's been about to come to you. Maybe it's the message for the contract. Thank you, Spirit. So you're about to get a phone call maybe or a message because this phone is standing out to me or some type of message that's going to be coming to you. Um, yeah, I'm seeing this pen, pen here. That's yeah, it's, you're about to get a message about this contract for this opportunity that you're about to be coming into. I can't make this up. Look at this. Door to fucking value. All right. We got the man holding his coin in reverse though. We got the yin yang here. We got the seven chakra archangel Uriel here. We got indecision up here. And we got the woman holding her coin in reverse. We got the garden and the gate here in reverse. We got hostilities in reverse. And we got the happy family in reverse. Hmm. This is their karma. Uh, we got the future in reverse. We got Nick Secrets up right here. We got Metis Wisdom up right here. We got Oshun Generosity. In reverse here. We got the four swords up right here. We got the world up right here. We got judgment up right here. We got the queen of cups up right here. We got the prince of wands up right here. We got the princess, the queen of pentacles up right here. And we got the motherfucking utopia, bitch. They better stop playing with you, beautiful diamond of light. Just when they thought you would fall down, you stood your ground. And now you're coming around, making your sounds. <laughs> These motherfuckers are unhappy. Your family is unhappy because 
You came up out of these hostilities that they tried to send your motherfucking way. All these enemies and foes and families and haters only made you great. They wanted you to be hostile. They tried to throw everything in your path. They was trying to push your buttons. They was doing it all. Black magic. Scratch your ass magic. Negative thoughts, prayers. I mean, they did everything to try to stand in your... They paid motherfuckers. These people was doing everything to try to put you in a lot of hostilities, but it didn't work. You, you, you came out that gate. They wanted you trapped in that gate. They wanted you trapped in. They wanted you stuck, but it didn't work. The woman holding the coin. They wanted you to be in this in this energy, but now it's their energy. They wanted you... Hello. They wanted you and your partner. Because I see a lot of romance, soulmate. And stuff, cause so obviously you you could have a, be in a relationship, could not, you know what I'm saying? Um, or this could be two people that's in this energy now in your family, this man and this woman that maybe been wealthy at one point in time, but they probably broke now. They're trying to spend all their little money to make you fucked up, and now it's turning the tables are turning. Yep, judgment's been called on them. This their energy. But they wanted you in this energy, but this is their energy now. Whether it's you and your couple or you by yourself, this could be you masculine, divine masculine, um, that they wanted in this energy, or you divine feminine, or a couple, and they wanted in this energy, and they're not because y'all are going to gain, or you going to gain your abundance, and these motherfuckers going to be judge, under judgment, and they are going to be, they are going to be, I can't. They are going to be under judgment and they're going to lose all their coins for trying to cause you to be unbalanced, um, trying to cause you to not be uh, centered. You know what I'm saying? And also with the yin yang here too, like I said, this could be a, a representation of you embodying your whole self, right? And they wanted to keep you, uh, your whole well-being in this energy. But either way, you not going to stay broke, busted, and disgusted, baby. All these opportunities, baby, I'm going to pull it all out for you in a minute. You got too much coming your way. But this is going to become their energy. They couldn't keep you stuck. They're going to be the ones unhappy, honey. Some of them ain't moving forward in the future. They're going to be dying this winter. They try to stop your future. Something. They try to stop something from coming to you in this future. Something that you're supposed to be getting here. This daughter is value. They try to stop these opportunities from presenting itself to you. But it, it didn't work. All of their little secrets are going to come out. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is going to take place here. The divine coming in. Okay? Divine wisdom is coming in to address this situation. A lot of them ain't going to be able to move forward. Okay? Uh, they was trying to stop your generosity coming in. You're going to find out about this. All these secrets are going to come out about these people. About these all this stuff. They will, they're going to be judged. And you're going to hear about it. You're going to hear about this judgment. You're going to hear about this. You're going to be gaining your queen of pentacles, baby. You could be in this queen of cup energy too. Earth sign, water sign here, very strong. You're going to gain the world. You've mastered your emotions. You've balanced yourself. You are a divine uh, person. You keep on centering yourself and meditating and calling your energy back. Um, there's nothing they could do to, you know, unscrew you, to unravel you, to, you know what I'm saying? Right here, I'm seeing that you think with your heart. They think with their pockets. They think about material. This material thinking is what got them in trouble and got them messed up for trying to not being worthy of who they are. And was afraid about what you were going to accumulate and wanting to stop you. But you always thought with your heart, baby. Your brain is where your heart is. They try to penetrate you penetrate you here in your crown, but it only opens you a wide open, baby. So you can do more to manifest and gain the world. Your emotions are well intact. You got this, I don't give a fuck. I done been through it all. I done overcame all my vices. I done, I done mastered my sexuality. I know who I am. I know my worth. Now I'm about to gain the world. And it's money in the bag, bitch. Somebody with this Prince of Wands here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's like it's a lot of energies watching you associated with this energy here. Okay, some old sneaky fox energy. Um, I guess um, 
these people come together or whatever. I, I see like, oh, uh, it's one, two. This Prince of Wands, I don't know if this is an ex I'm getting, could be. Um, somebody used to deal with him and his, I guess, baby mamas, girlfriends. They've been watching you on social media, whoever he messing around with. Uh, either way, they spy on you and they trying to come with some fox energy. And he been trying to do magic on you, whoever this person is too. Whoever this person is, but it ain't going to work. His sneaky fox ass. I'm get, I'm seeing bullet holes. He like to get shot down. Someone please call 911. All right. You're about to gain your utopia. It's nothing nobody can do to stop this, baby. You've done all the work you need to do. Like, you've been on your boss shit. You really have. Dang. And it's fucking amazing. And that's why you about to get this fuel. Who? Livestock. You about to get this wealth, this abundance, the success, the security, and fertility, baby. You like about to have another baby. But, you know, it, it is what it is. But, yeah. You got adjudication here. Judgment. Like I said, these people have been judged. They've been trying to steal your energy. They've been trying to steal your wealth. They've been trying to steal your, your everything, honey. they just been trying to cipher the hell out of you. They've been trying to wash you like a fucking washing machine, taking you through all kind of damn cycles. But you completed all of them. You mastered all of them. So there's nothing they could do. All they did was those cycles that they kept trying to put you in only put you on your right pathway to blossoming in abundance. And they are about to be in prison. Some of them might be going straight to jail because you got ju adjudication here from stealing. Some of them probably actually stole something from you and going straight to jail. Some of them in prison, they're probably in their mind. Or they just trapped, you know what I'm saying? Because they can't think straight. They they can't, you know, all the shit they done did to you. They just like, I can't. They, when you get ready to get all this, they're going to be sick in their own head. Because they're going to be like, they should have got on your team instead of trying to pull things against you. Because in your distant horizon... You got a lot of positive change in coming, baby. You're going to travel. They don't, though. Their distant horizons is going to be right in this imprisonment here. For stealing for you. Your energy, your money, whatever they try to, to steal, baby. This singer card keep coming up here a lot. So you could like to sing. You really could like to sing. You know what I'm saying? This could be an occupation. This could be a habit. This could be something that you just like doing. Maybe you like to sing the hill. Because it's right here is the humpback well. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. So you can also like to listen to music like that inspires you as well. Okay. You have you are a protector, white sage. You are a protector. You're an old soul. Your best friend is nature. You can love nature. You use your intuition, your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken a powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. You are magical. You're a protector. You protect a lot of people. You protect a lot of people just with your energy. They don't even know. People don't even know. You don't even know you protect people like you do. People don't know you protect them. They be wondering why things don't even happen to them. You be wondering. You don't, you don't know the people you protect. And people don't even understand how your energy protects them from get, catching hell. Yes, honey. But like I say, let me show you all this. Let me see. Let me see. I got to pull up all the success. Because you... You just, you, you doing it on the baby. You doing it on the baby. Uh, too classy for this world. Too classy, I'm that girl. Too classy for this world. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's you. Okay, I'm trying to find all these cards so you can see uh, all this abundance, baby, coming your way. Because it's, it's going to be raining down on you. It's about to be raining down on you. It's about to be raining. I'm talking about the beautiful things that's about to be coming in to you. I'm getting some stuff and start coming rolling in for you this winter. It's possible. As I say that, the chariot is here validating it, but don't hold it to me now. Hey. But yeah, look. Look at this. 
in this car. What do they say? Huh? Abundance, success, security. Okay? What does it say? Prosperity, success, reward. Prosperity, again. The door to value. Blossom of abundance. Utopia. Baby, you got things rolling in for you. No matter how many people don't try to stop you, the sun is about to be shining on your life. You about to have all the financial. Oh, don't forget the Queen of Pentacles here too now. You got all the all the finances you going to be need to take care and sustain yourself the way you never had before spirit saying your love life is going to be immaculate it's like everything that you can ever dream of and more is about to come your way and you so deserve it okay until next time beautiful domino light bye now